Guys, welcome back to Com Again. We are here with your video review. This week we're doing the box set of Angel, which has uh, this is what five seasons. Uh, so yes, so right here on the back. Okay. Uh, five seasons worth of Angel. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many episodes it is, but it's a hell of a lot. Um, this box set, which is, is it's, first off, the packaging is awesome. And I believe this was. Um, uh, there, there were so many of these made, I think, because there's a number right there, yeah. which, there we go. Kind of. This is number um, 12,708. 12, Limited edition. So uh, My brother-in-law actually bought this for my wife one year for Christmas, I believe. Yeah. Now, they did bring these uh, back out in a different collective, but this is a limited edition box set. Uh, this box set has all five seasons of Angel. Um... All the uh, special features from the previous Angel DVD releases, uh, cast crew commentaries, feature edits, delete scenes, outtakes, screen tests. Uh, it also includes brand new uh, a letter from the series creator, Josh Whedon, and it's got a full color booklet of all the episodes that are in available here in the set. So let's go ahead and break this thing open and check out the goodies. First off, is what's really cool is you open this thing up and boom. David Boreanis, instant. It's kind of like, you know, pancakes, except hotter. Uh, and of course, here, when it flap opens, you got the entire cast right there, the main cast. Uh, you'll notice the individual discs form hit David Boreanis, Angel's face. Uh, in this little flap here, we do have the uh, letter, which is just held on by a little, little flap. Um, I like this letter, it's kind of cool. Because uh, now I, I didn't read it, um, but you open it up. It's very poster quality too. So if you want to hang it up or whatever, but this is what I like. It's got the grr arg. So go ahead and show that. And, um, um, we don't have to read the whole thing, but uh, but it basically you know, it, it's just a printed letter from Joe Sweden and thank you for being yeah. an angel fan and, uh, and Buffy the vampire Bu player. Buffy and so I'll let you put it that way. Okay. so as I said I'm a, it also concludes an awesome and this is a thick thick booklet of all the episodes in the series each page containing a picture of David Boreani so I if you're a fan um, yeah, it's got wonderful uh, pictures here of, you know, cast and crew, and, like, it looks like some artwork of sketches of villains. So, um, pretty cool. I'm always a fan of DVD box sets who have little booklets like this. I think last episode, we reviewed the Power Rangers DVD. They also had a little episode booklet. So those are always really cool to throw into the little uh, box sets. So then we get to the good stuff inside Real here. quick, before we get into this. Which episode was your favorite? Uh, I, I like all the episodes with the Green Demon. Okay. He was my favorite character. Uh, I forget his name, and I even forget the Lauren. actor's name. Lauren. I think it is Lauren. War Lauren, Warren. So I'm like, yeah. Uh, I know the actor uh, had died had a few years back due to, I believe, uh, cancer? Something like that. Yeah, so... And my favorite episode would have to be uh, the final episode, the fall, the fallen, uh, or the just, fall. And I just want to note that I haven't actually finished this series. I finished Buffy, and I think I got to the episode season four, and I stopped. My wife has the entire collection of Buffy and Angel. So, Super Buffy. this was actually one of the first things we watched together when we first started dating. Was this entire series? So. Because uh, I lived in a house on my own and uh, started dating. And she brought over, I told her to bring over some of her movies or whatever. And uh, she asked me if I liked Angel. And I said, Sure, who doesn't? <laughs> so, start watching that. Oh, Sweden. <laughs> um, one of the craziest episodes I think ever was from the final season, I believe, when. Angel gets turned into a Muppet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Muppet episode. And he's got a fight Spike. Muppet Spike. 
Now, another one of my favorite episodes was when Spike was a ghost during, I think it was season four, and they have to uh, take on a necromancer, and Spike ends up possessing the necromancer's body, <laughs> and the ne- uh, angel is fighting the necromancer possessed by Spike, and he ends up, the necromancer ends up falling and hitting his head. And gets back up and keeps fighting Angel. Well, come come to find out, the Necromancer had died as soon as his head hit that, and so Angel was fighting Spike the entire time. So why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the actual series itself. The series itself uh, focuses on Angel. Uh, I think he's a 240-year-old year, 240-year 240-year-old vampire. Um, started out as Angelus, an uh, Irish... Uh, high-standing civilian. Uh, never could really amount to anything in his father's eyes. Um, Not a nice guy. No. He becomes uh, he becomes a vampire by Darla. Dar- Darla. Yeah. Um, Love Darla. Who then, he then turns um, what's her name? Uh, Spike's girlfriend. Uh, yes, I don't remember her name. I think it starts with an A or something like that. And then she in turn turns Spike and sires them, I guess it's called. But comes about from... Angel was a very popular character on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Who uh, was supposed to be a villain of hers yeah. and ended up being a love interest. And it, Which is supposed to be ironic yeah. because Buffy, Buffy is a vampire slayer. <laughs> And he turned evil again. He's the vampire with a soul because yeah. of a gypsy curse. Um, so he sat out to help Buffy um, over the course of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But at one point, his, his uh, soul was taken again. So he turned back into Angelus yes. and tortured. Uh, uh, what's his name? The Watcher. Uh, uh, Giles. Yeah, Giles. Uh, tortured him, and Buffy ended up having to kill him. Uh, but somehow... It was a very heartbreaking yeah, episode. She was somehow, crying. Right after that, Angel got brought back somehow. Somehow. Um, oh, and due to his popularity, he was given his own show. It started out just him in this... Uh, he bought kind of a commercial property in L.A., yeah, but he, he didn't really do anything with he, the commercial he, part. He just lived in the basement. He just wanted to do a detective agency yeah. type of thing. Well, he didn't. Uh, or, uh, Charisma Carpenter's Charisma Carpenter, character. Who came over from Buffy yeah. to join the Angel cast. Which she was probably one of the best parts of the show, both shows, really. Because, I mean, she. I, I actually, wasn't there a character at the beginning called Amy? The uh, geeky one with the glasses. I'm not sure. And they they had that hotel and everything. Like yeah, that. That was the cool. the hotel. If they would have done it right, I think when they st- moved into the hotel, I think that's when the series started getting a little bit goofy. Really? Yeah. Uh, before that, it was a lot darker. Uh, Angel was a lot more brooding. Um, he tried. They tried to put him back to his brooding roots when. His son came along, but it didn't really oh, yeah, work. See, his son, well. his son. That's why I stopped watching. Um, but he's the son. Uh, his son is between him and Darla. Vampires aren't supposed to be able to uh, have children, but somehow they managed to. That's well, because the son's supposed to be the chosen one, yeah, or something like that. Well, no, uh, Angel was the chosen one. Supposed to be the chosen one until Spike returned and uh, got his soul. Because the Chosen One was supposed to be a vampire with a soul. Right. And so there was this whole feud between who the Chosen One actually was, Angel or Spike. And when it, when Spike turned from villain to good guy, in the, or anti-hero, I guess, in the Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, Slayer series, he, he became my favorite character. I did uh, like Spike. Played by awesome James Marston. Yeah. Um, so for you Smallville fans, that would be Brainiac. Yeah. Um, what else was he in? O.C.? The OC, I believe, uh, I don't watch where he played with Jim Gordon. Uh, <laughs> I never watched it either, but I've gotten some uh, commercials a, for it here and there. He'd be a good character for Gotham. Yeah, he would. I don't know who he'd play, but he'd be a good character. For he would be 
if they hadn't have already cast it, he would have been the perfect either Clock King or Riddler. I, I don't know. I love who they got for Riddler. Yeah. He's amazing. But um, let's see here. What else can I really say about Angel? It, this was during the height of the gothic trend in uh, dress. I, I think it was more towards the end of the gothic Yeah, trend. maybe. Um, but, uh, but he, David Boreanaz really made the whole brooding hero type thing uh, come alive and yeah. really brought interest to the brooding hero. And uh, he's tried to do other things. Um, unfortunately, because of the success of Angel, this is the downside to a lot of popular but lasting shows. Now, he's kind of now with uh, his... with the younger generations who didn't really get to see Angel. He's known more for his role on Bones. Yeah, yeah, he is on Bones now. Uh, he did do a pretty well, well every job. I, of, because every time I watch Bones, I still see yeah. Angel. He did do a good Hal Jordan on Final, uh, Final Frontier. Or New Frontier. New, yeah, yeah, New Frontier. Yeah, he did do the voice. Um, what else can we really say about this? I mean, it... It's been so. It, it's been seven years since I watched this. That's um, how long. I do know a little bit history of why the show ended, though. Uh, do you know the history? Yeah, uh, the WB didn't. The WB had, and they, they still do this, but not as often because I think they kind of learned their lesson. WB had this thing to where they wouldn't renew a season till the very end after the show ended because they weren't sure if they wanted to pick it up. Not just Angel. They did this with a lot of shows. Seventh Heaven. Seventh Heaven. They, Buffy did, the Vampire they did it with there. Seventh Heaven had like two uh, or three different series finales. And the thing is, Josh Whedon has this, had a specific ending for the show that he wanted to do, but he needed to know he wanted it picked up. Plain and simple. He wanted to know if it was going to get picked up. They wouldn't tell him. So he basically said, fuck you, I'm ending it. He ended it on his terms. Um, I, did it still end on a cliffhanger? Uh, it did end on a cliffhanger, but they continued it, written by Joe Sweden, and into comic book play. after the fall. So he, he he basically again, you know, said screw you to WB because you know and W and WB has since um, they still do it. Um, they were doing it during Smallville, mm. except not so. They would wait closer to the end of the series. Which made it difficult because, you know, they have a specific ending to, right. it, to the storyline that they might want to continue. So I think eventually they, towards mid-season finale, before they started filming the new half season, they'd be like, okay, yeah, go ahead. And so, but I think because of Josh Whedon here, they kind of might have learned that lesson a little bit. And, uh, yeah. They, didn't, <clears throat> they kind of stopped doing that because... Um, Angel was such a huge hit. It was still a huge hit. It probably could have gone on for another couple seasons for before it actually had a, finale, a decent finale. Yeah. Like I said, af once they moved into the hotel, that's when it started kind of dropping a little bit storyline-wise. It, it was mostly filler episodes then. Then whenever Angel became he uh, the head of um, oh, Wolfram and Hart, yeah, that's when that it, Wolfman Harp. That was kind of his his arch nemesis. Yeah, kind of. So, all right. Well, um, all in all, not a bad little set no. here. So, um, like I said, the last time I watched the entire thing all the way through was right after my wife and I got together, started dating. So, um, I'm gonna have to uh, start watching it again. I had it on my hard drive and I deleted it. I. And I never finished watching it. So, so uh, yeah, if you guys get a chance, watch, check it out. Angel, seasons one through five. Uh, again, this box set was a limited edition. This one's not available, but you can find it on the secondary market, such as Amazon, eBay, or uh, various uh, disc replay, mega replays. So. All right. Stay tuned for more Come Again. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, maybe put a comment below, and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page, links are in the description below.